this is Tom from Market Life, and welcome back to the 100 Trade Review Series. Today we're going to look at trades 31 through 35, so let's jump in. This is GPOR on May 11th, and this is a setup that should be familiar to everyone by now. Uh, we're rallying off the lows, sideways consolidation, and then a potential breakout move higher. So this is the setup we're looking at here. Uh, and we have an entry uh, trigger on this day, just above our previous pivot high at around 264. And our stop is at 203. And uh, not the greatest close after we kind of top tick our entry, but uh, let's see what happens. And not the greatest second day, but still holding above our stop and uh, within the pattern. And day three, we get stopped out for a one hour loss. So not much we can do about that. Okay, let's move on. This is FLDM, also on May 11th. And our stop is down here, 344. And our entry is 464. Uh, well, it looks like we're getting some good momentum moving out of this, uh, this little range here. And get some nice follow through the second day, uh, take some of the position off, and let the rest run. Let's see. So not a lot happening. Um, and we've dipped below our initial entry on part of the position, but we still have that cushion from, from taking the profit. Yeah, really not a lot happening, just going sideways. And then finally, the, the, the pattern's no longer there and it's time to just free up the capital and, and move on from the trade, which worked out pretty well since the next day. Um, would have uh, taken an even larger loss on that. Very small winner, point, point 0.1 uh, gain on the trade, but we took some profits and gave it a chance. Okay. This is NXE on May 12th and uh, another familiar pattern. Stop is 125, entry is 150, nice round numbers. And you'll recognize our day of entry similar to uh, Gulfport Energy Trade 31, where it looked like we gained some momentum into the breakout and then it reverses by the end of the day. And we get stopped out the very next day. <laughs> uh, I got out at a 0.8 hour loss, so uh, a little bit ahead of the initial stop, but I guess if it's gonna, if it's not gonna work out, it's better that it happens quickly. This is MRSN on May 12th, and after a strong push higher, we've been consolidating sideways uh, for a couple months, and it looks like we might just be starting to uh, peak out of this consolidation. So our entry was 1031, and stop is 831. So uh, the stock just continues to grind sideways for uh, a little while, not much happening. And it looks like we might just be starting to work out here. Boom. The following day, there's good news in the stock and we're gapping up about two and a half R on the trade. I decided to keep it on a, a short leash and basically if we drive up from the open, uh, I'll hold on to it. But if not, I'm just gonna get out. You know, when the market gives you a gift, sometimes you just gotta take it. So uh, you can see this wick here, uh, the stock actually did sell off uh, quite a bit from this gap up um, after the open and we got out just around uh, 1530. So that's uh, almost a two and a half R winner on this trade. Um, pretty good. And, uh, you should ask yourself how you plan to manage these kinds of moves uh, should you be fortunate enough to, to get them. Uh, Nothing wrong with just taking the gift, like I said, um, but uh, this was a pretty good win for us. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now uh, forgive the, the change of charting software. This ticker is ADRO and has been delisted, and the only place I could find data for it was uh, Yahoo Finance of all places. So uh, this is ADRO on May 12th, and our entry is 325 and stop uh, the purple line here 245 
Okay, so what happened here is after some just churning around and uh, this strong day here looks like the, the pattern might start to finally work out and we consolidate just a little bit higher. Uh, but after you can see these wicks here, several attempts to try and uh, try and break out, we, we've, we've failed. So I decide to uh, take the trade off at just around uh, a scratch. It's a slight negative. It's a minus 0.15 R loss on the trade. And uh, that's quite lucky because a few days later we have these strong, uh, strong down days Okay, that's it for trades 31 to 35. I, I hope everyone's still enjoying these videos. You know, leave some comments, ask some questions. I'd also like to mention that we just opened up a Market Life uh, Discord server for all our members, uh, both premium and free members. You just all that's required is that you've signed up for our Market Life uh, account. So if you haven't done that yet, I'd encourage everybody to go over to marketlife.com, sign up, join the Discord, start chatting. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see you next time for trades 36 through 40.